Hi, my name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Hecht. I'm here to provide you an update regarding the first day of Operation Breaking Dawn. To understand this operation, we must begin with some context around the Islamic Jihad, Iranian-sponsored terrorist organization that has been investing heavily in recent months in forced buildup throughout the Gaza Strip and Judea and Samaria. The threat involved Islamic Jihad's anti-tank missile unit, which was planning to launch anti-tank missiles at Israeli civilians traveling in their cars in southern Israel. An attack like this on Israeli vehicle or train line would cause the injury and potential death of dozens of Israeli men, women and children. As a precaution, hundreds of thousands of Israelis were in lockdown for a week. The IDF responded with a precision strike on the anti-tank cells as they were on their way to carry out the attack. Additionally, Taitzil Jabri, the Islamic Jihad Northern Commander, was also targeted. From our perspective, we achieved our goals and prevented this attack against Israeli civilians. For Islamic Jihad, this wasn't enough. In the past 24 hours, they have launched more than 260 rockets against Israeli civilians in southern and central Israel. To demonstrate Islamic Jihad's complete disregard for human life, more than 30% of the rockets they have launched indiscriminately have fallen short within the Gaza Strip. In response, the IDF has conducted pinpointed strikes against multiple terrorist targets belonging to the Islamic Jihad in a very focused operation in Gaza. We will continue operating and protecting our civilians against any threat. We do not want to escalate the situation, but our civilian safety will always be our number one priority.